But there's a lot of misconceptions that might blow your mind today because it turns out that this is all wrong. <laughs> this is wrong, 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 wrong. In fact, Maslow never even drew a pyramid. There's never any writings where he drew a pyramid. This was a mischaracterization of his theory of motivation. This was um, a bunch of management consultants in the 50s and 60s rank psychology rank uh, consultant textbooks where they depicted his theory as a pyramid as this sort of static uh, step step uh, step uh, game but it turns out that life is not like a video game it's not like you reach a certain level of basic needs um, like belonging and then some voice from above is like congrats you've unlocked esteem and then you move on up never having to deal um, with the lower needs that is not uh, a real adequate adequate representation of what it means to be fully human. Um, I don't know about you, but I've never uh, eaten a lunch uh, and then never had to worry about eating lunch ever again. <laughs> you know, I just moved on up, you know, in my hierarchy after I had ate lunch and I never returned to need to eat food again or connection. I've never, it's not, it's, you know, these are things you have to keep replenishing over and over and over again. In fact, the real important distinction Maslow made was between deficiency needs and growth needs. 